Hello, I thought you'd like to see my house as it's decorated for autumn. I love decorating for autumn. It's my most favorite season to decorate for. Uh, so here is a little tour of my decorated home. I love decorating the front porch for all the different seasons. And as a matter of fact, at the end of summer, when I take the palm trees down and the annuals and everything, it looks so bare. But what I will end up doing is putting corn stalks behind here and here and then in a couple other spots in my front yard. Uh, but just to show you what I have up here. So in our large planters, I just got a larger size mom. I wanted the purple. I love the purple. And that is a wreath from Hobby Lobby that I just put around there just kind of as filler. Um, just so it had a little bit of dimension to it. This lantern, I bought this lantern and this lantern at Home Goods a while ago, and they were on sale because the back glass was broken. Uh, they used to work, they don't really work any longer, um, but I think they really look cute. The mat I got at Hobby Lobby, love that. And then this is a fake pumpkin I got at Lowe's, I have two of those. This was inherited from my family. This is a jack-o'-lantern we had at our old house. These are all false, those are false. Same over here, false. And then at Lowe's, they had these beautiful pots. These are filler. So this was already created. And all I had to do was take it out of the pot and make sure it fit in the urn that I have here and just stick it on in. And I love the colors uh, with it. Kind of matches with the mom's. It's beautiful. Same over here, got the same thing. Isn't that lovely? And then I have my wreath. Now I love making wreaths, but I saw this at Hobby Lobby and I just had to buy it. I thought it was really pretty. Um, I'll probably change the wreath out as we get closer to Thanksgiving, uh, since this is more of a fall foliage one. And by the time we get to Thanksgiving here in Virginia, all the leaves are off the tree. So we won't have the fall foliage anymore. So I have another wreath that I'll put up that's more fall related, has some pheasant leaves and things like that. But Hobby Lobby, this was off the rack. It was on sale. All I had to do was a little bit of zhuzhing. I didn't even add a thing. This is the way it came off the rack. As you enter my foyer, oh, there's Sherry. Hi, Sherry. She says hello. As you enter my foyer, I have a foyer table with a bunch of pumpkins and my pineapple on there. Most of these things were purchased from Hobby Lobby, Home Goods. TJ Maxx. So in here on my couch, I have a pumpkin pillow. So the colors in here are a little bit more of the turquoise and rose. Also some pumpkins and everything here. And I added these rose velvet pillowcases to the pillows to give it a sense of warmth going into the fall. In my sunroom, I stuck with oranges and whites. Typically in here, I have those coral pillows uh, with the uh, texture on them year round. So I added a few more things in here, as you can see. And then a few things over at the piano as well. In my dining room, I love these wheat bundles. I think they are so beautiful. And I bought all of these pumpkins over the years. I've just collected them. So these ones here are gold. These ones here are silver. And then I have a bunch of filler that's in there as well. And I just did it running down the table. And underneath, I have like a little like lamb's ear wreath to add a little bit of green is kind of hidden in. I bought these wreaths at, I think Home Goods a while ago. The colors seem to match, so they're gold and white pumpkins. I added the pink ribbon to match my decor in this room. And then over here on the buffet, these are craft pumpkins that I bought at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, one of those places and I literally just spray painted them gold. 
They're sitting on little compotes that I use all the time. That's a great investment piece for decorating. And then I have them sitting on a wreath, lamb's ear wreath, and I put the ribbon in there to dress it up. This little turkey, I got it, I think it was Home Goods. Yep. $15. I don't know when that was, but 15 bucks. Um, I think it's really neat looking. A little thankful sign. I prefer to decorate for Thanksgiving as opposed to Halloween. That's just how I am. And then my kitchen, I apologize. It's a little bit messy at the moment, but um, I have some beautiful placemats I got at Hobby Lobby that have green, or excuse me, they have white pumpkins with green on them. So I decided to match the decor in this room with that. So I bought this tray from Hobby Lobby and I just used floral filler uh, pumpkins of different sizes and create this every year. So this is not the exact same every year. Every piece comes out. I mean, these are all loose in here. Um, and then over here we have a, I went to the farmer's market and got a bunch of squash because I'm going to make some butternut squash soup. And these are honey nut squashes. Never had this before. I'm really excited about those. But again, that white pumpkin with the leaves at the bottom. Um, I have that like on a cake stand there. These little things, I bought these. I don't think the tag is still on it. Let's see. No, I took it off. I got these at... Uh, home goods a while ago. I bought three of them. They're really nice. They fit together beautifully. As always, I have my very favorite Mrs. Meyers apple cider scent cleaning products. That's my absolute favorite. I buy them in bulk um, before the season, so because they do sell out all of the time. And then over here, I have a couple little things out here for Halloween, but this is just a couple pieces I got at Hobby Lobby. Home goods. I used another wreath. I set it on top of the wreath and some little potion bottles that I found somewhere, dollar store probably. And then my kitchen table, pumpkin with the wreath. And I call this our gratitude pumpkin. And so what we do is we write on it what we're grateful for with a Sharpie. And I thought that was kind of a neat little thing to do. And then in my family room, sorry, I'm working on cleaning, spot cleaning some spots in the carpet. I have the pillows. So what I do is I buy pillow cases for these guys. These are all pillow cases. I just reuse the same pillows every single season. I just change out the case. So here is what the couch looks like. I'm very happy with this little um, area that I put together. A couple of these things are from Hobby Lobby. A couple of things are from Home Goods. I thought this little bell jar thing was so cute. Uh, so I added that in just for some dimension. And then our pillows over here. Again, pillowcases. I don't buy pillows. We use the same pillows all the time. And then down below, so this room is orange and the blue. Uh, so I wanted to bring those colors in and then matches the Hello Pumpkin. And then up above, I have some more of these wheat stalks. I think they're just so pretty. And I added a couple things. So this is just a garland of the lamb's ear that I kind of wove through this device. And then at the back, I laid another one and it kind of fills in some of the blanks over here. These are pumpkins. Again, I mean, this one came from another craft project. This, this one and this one came in like a package from Home Goods, and I just added them in here. And I think it looks really, really nice. And I'm fortunate that my painting here has the poppies. And if I'm decorating with orange, the poppies kind of look orange, but at Christmas time, when I'm decorating with reds, the poppies look red. The other thing is we always have a little basket of blankets. I have my electric blanket at the back. That's that turquoise one. So I love my electric blanket. And then I change out these blankets with the season. So this is kind of a corally orangey one. And then this beautiful cashmere blanket that's there. 
And then finally up in the bookshelves, I just had the word gather. Didn't know where to put it, but this actually turned out to be the right spot for it. Our bookshelves, we love to read. Our bookshelves are filling up more and more and more every single year. So we don't really have a lot of decoration space in here. So I thought that was the perfect place to put it. I wanted to show you how my back porch is decorated for the autumn. The back porch is my most favorite room in my entire house. I actually sit out here at least three seasons every single year in the morning. I do my daily devotion. I drink my coffee, have some alone time. I also love sitting out here in the evenings. In the summertime, the hummingbirds are coming by. I have flowers everywhere. I absolutely love it. So here is my back porch. So my back porch, I just change out the pillowcases. Again, pillowcases, not pillows, with the buffalo, the orange buffalo check, and a couple other things. And then I just throw in a few things. So the planter over here in the summer has palm trees. Now it has a bunch of mums and I put three in there. So it's a burgundy, an orange and a yellow. Have a few more things. I love being out here in the evening and having these candles. So the candles, if they worked off timers, that would be awesome. But these particular ones are just remote control, but I love lighting them up and I put them in the little jack-o-lantern. And there's my hummingbird feeder. The hummingbirds have left for Mexico already. So I'll be changing that out and cleaning it, getting it ready for next year. And then here's our little buffet. So this is a dresser that I painted with outdoor paint a while ago. And we store a lot of things in here, stuff for the grill, stuff for gardening. Um, and it's orange because it contrasts to the color of my home, which is green. And I always loved it. But then I just set up some spooky things out here. My candle holders for Halloween. Uh, this pumpkin that was my mother's, I remember this being in the center of my table when I was growing up, so it has very special significance to me. Put a live mum in here, looks like it needs a little bit of water, and then some lanterns and things like that, uh, just so we have some candlelight out here. So I hope you like the tour of my house, my back porch, and my front porch. Have a wonderful fall, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>